welcome, 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 welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It is good to be back. Um, we're going to get into a good one today. William Zapetta, Giovanni Cabrera, uh, Golden Boy card. But before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, or all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes out to you for every single major fight. So you had to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The bookies, the odds makers, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to consistently make money betting on boxing. Uh, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also in the ticket below. Just $5 a month. Just $5 a month. Get you uh, all the perks. It gets you the lock of the week. It gets you asked to bookie anything. It gets you the those updated props. Uh, like for, for this fight, they, DraftKings hasn't dropped the prop shit. So when the prop comes out, come over to the Patreon uh, and, and find out how to make even more money on the props in addition to the lock of the week, uh, which I will be dropping later today. All right, let's get into... Uh, also, subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, let's get into today's show. William Zepeda, I think, is right there as one of the big three lightweights. I think the big three lightweights is Zepeda, Shakur, uh, Shakur and, and Tank. This guy is a lot to deal with. He's relentless, come forward, high volume, throws nice clean shots from the outside. His movement on slipping to get into the inside is really underrated. His ability to cut off the ring is overlooked. His jab and his right hand, as uh, uh, the, 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 his jab and his left hand uh, from from mid range, uh, from long range, is is a lot better than you may think. He's a lot more complete fighter. I've often compared him to Brandon Figueroa. I actually think he's better than Brandon Figueroa. Good angles, good sudden, good sudden movement, good body puncher, mixes up head and body shots really, really well. Like he said his, his movement and his athleticism is a little bit underrated. Good popping jab when he uses it. Um, he is what he is, and, and, and he's, he's a dominant guy. He's great at cutting off the ring, and then he just doesn't stop. Once he cuts off the ring on you and gets you cornered, he's just relentless, and he just keeps the hands going. He's on you. He's like a gnat. Then, you know, he, he's long, and he can just he's right back on you, head in your chest, banging away. He just doesn't stop. He mixes up his shots, head, body really well. He changes levels exceptionally well. Two-fisted power, good pop in each hand. It's, it's a complete offensive fighter for what he is. He's a pressure fighter who can cut off the ring, who can jab with you from the outside, cut off the ring, get you trapped, and then unleash, and he unleashes with power. Uh, he works his angles. He, he's a really, and then he throws, you know, 120 punches around, 100 punches around, 90 punches around. He just keeps him flinging in there. He's so much to deal with. Um, he's doesn't have a lot of flaws that you think your high volume pressure fighters would. He's, he's sound. He's complete. He's got good pop. It's a lot to deal with. Giovanni Cabrera fires a lot of shots. Throws un unconventional punches. Leaves himself open. He he lunges in. Throws shots. I'm not a huge fan of Giovanni Cabrera. He's a very flawed fighter. He, he he's got quick agile feet. I don't really think he plants his shots. He doesn't have a ton of pop. I, I don't think he's really throwing his shots hard. He's kind of just throwing them in there. He reminds me a little bit of, of Mikey McKinson in, in that regard. Uh, he's 22 and 179, guys. I, I think ultimately he's going to get steamrolled. He keeps his hands low. He's there to be hit. He's got good volume and he throws in combinations, but he's, a lot of times he, when he lunges, and he, he's leaving himself out of position. He can't punch from those angles. When he's lunging, He's in there. He can get tag coming, and if he doesn't get tag coming, now he's out of position. When he's out of position, now you can hit him. He's just there to be hit, and, and a guy as relentless and as, as swarming and as skilled, yes, as skilled as Zepeda, it's just a matter of time. He's got good feet. He's got athletic feet. His footwork sometimes gets a little weird. Uh, that's my dog, Cannoli. Cannoli, let it be, girl. Let it be. He looks awkward. And, and, and 
uncomfortable when he's off the back, but he can fight both ways. And we saw it in the Pitbull Cruz fight. He was fighting more off the back foot, much more off the back foot than we had seen in other fights. He looks uncomfortable and awkward when he's doing it. And I would imagine one of two things are going to happen in this fight. Either Zepeda is going to cut off the ring and trap him and, and make him go backwards, and he's not good that way. And, and look, Pitbull Cruz, he fought competitively, but Giovanni uh, – I'm sorry. William Zepeda is a much more complete offensive fighter than Pitbull Cruz. He's, he's better at long range. He's a better sniper. He's better at cutting off the ring. He's more athletic. He's got better. He's just better. He's just, and I, I like Pitbull Cruz. Pitbull Cruz is a good fighter, but Cabrera is just better across the board. I mean, uh, I keep saying it. Zepeda is just better than Cruz across the board. Giovanni, like I said, he kind of slaps his punches. He needs to establish himself and stand his ground. If he stands his ground, he's going to get beat up on the inside, right? So if he goes backwards and fights off the back foot, it's not a strain, and, and Giva, uh, Zepeda is going to pre- uh, prey on that. If he does establish his ground, which I think is his best bet, he, he's going to get nailed, he's going to get outworked, he's going to get a hustle, he's going to get broken down. So there's really no path to victory for him in this fight. Um, Zepeda is much, much better... I, you see, he couldn't handle Pitbull Cruz. If he can't handle Pitbull Cruz, Zepeda is better across the board. Let's take a look at the odds here. Let's pull them up. Let's see what we're looking at here. They don't have the props up, like I said. I do like Zepeda by stoppage. They will add it later in the week. They don't have it up right now. So all I have on the money line is a terrific bet to add to your parlay. William Zepeda at minus 2,000. This will hit. There's no way Zepeda loses this fight. And this is easy money. I also think there's no way Zepeda doesn't stop him. I've seen um, Hard Rock has about minus 210 on the stoppage. I love that. Minus 210 on the stoppage is a great bet. Let, let's wait for DraftKings. DraftKings should drop it. Come join the Patreon, $5 a month. Join the Patreon, $5 a month. When they drop it, we'll take a look at that. We'll take a look at the under. We'll take a look at all the problems. But I do like Zepeda to stop him. Right now, the only thing we have is Zepeda on the money line. Uh, a two times bet is comf- is fine. Two dollar bet makes you ten dollars. So this is not the money I want to make here. Come back. Let's take a look at Zepeda on a stop because that, that may be a, a steal for now. Just add Zepeda to your parlay. Just add him to your parlay. You'll hit with this. It's easy money. Then come back, join the Patreon, $5 a month. I'll show you how to make money on the props because the props on the stoppage is where we're going to make the real money here. All right, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. It is July. It is now July 4th. Happy 4th of July to everyone in the United States. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.